irritated. They're incapable of singing. So uh, the big story, though, today is O.J. has officially been arrested for what I, I still can't really figure out this what is, the hell he did. This is so good. And I don't even... I, you couldn't even... You couldn't have expected this or planned it. Or if you would have said, what would O.J. be arrested for next? This would be so, on the bottom of the list that I couldn't even believe it the first time I heard it. I thought it was a joke. And then when, when I heard the... Uh, the, the police got a call from uh, a man in a hotel in Vegas that said he had just been robbed at gunpoint, and one of the people was O.J. Simpson. The cops must have just been laughing, going, come on, dude, stop. You were down at the tables. You were drinking a little too much. <laughs> what? What? Are you watching TV, and you think O.J.'s in your room? But no. He... Uh, Apparently is a sports memorabilia collector and uh, reseller. You know, these guys, they get sports memorabilia and they sell it. And this guy in the hotel room is one of these guys. Uh, he had some OJ stuff uh, and some stuff that wasn't even OJ related, but it was football memorabilia. All stuff that OJ claims was his. How it was procured from OJ to this guy is still a mystery. So uh, O.J. allegedly goes up with some thugs. But he just happens to be in Vegas for a wedding. He's a, a wedding, he's yeah. He's the best man at a wedding? Yeah, a wedding. That's it. Uh, that's, that's real smart. <laughs> I was in Chicago. I mean Vegas. I cut my finger on a poker chip. Who would ask O.J. to be their best man at a I wedding? Know. Stop. I Talk. would in a second. What a message to send to your fiance. <laughs> <laughs> There's a <laughs> the joke. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. So uh, O.J. and a gang of uh, thugs uh, go up to this guy's room. They gain entry somehow. It didn't seem to be forced entry, but uh, they get in the room. This is still all under investigation and alleged. And uh, at uh, gunpoint, this is what this guy is saying, he is asked or told to pack up all the memorabilia exactly like it was and hand it over. The guys came in first with the guns, uh, and then the OJ walked in behind him, real cool, you know. Like, I got the gun, I got the guns on you, and then they turn around and look, here comes OJ. Don't F with OJ. And OJ was uh, uh, throwing out some expletives and um, got the uh, goods and then left. And the guy called the cops. How relieved is that guy that... O.J. came just to get his stuff. Just to get the stuff. <laughs> he, must he didn't be get like, the real mad O.J. Right, he didn't get the... And uh, uh, apparently this guy knows O.J. He's dealt with O.J. over the years, so he kind of yeah, knows him. But uh, now he's just really, really pissed. And, and this now O.J.'s been uh, booked. He's being held without bail. Because I believe they think he could be a flight risk <laughs> based on where past they, performance. Where do they get that idea yeah. from? <laughs> and uh, he's Al been Cowling, Al Cowling's like, oh, man, Al. this was my chance at the spotlight again. Al, Al, warm up the Bronco. <laughs> I'll be ready in no time. <laughs> so he uh, he's booked. He's in jail. And they're... You know, sorting out what to charge him with, but some of the charges look pretty, uh, you know, assault with a deadly weapon, robbery with a weapon. I don't believe he did it. You don't believe no, he did it? he probably walked in and just got his stuff back. This is probably one of those scummy sports dealers that doesn't, and, and probably had some OJ memorabilia that was taken. But probably. now they do have a couple of the other guys and the guns. They have found these guns, and there's, uh, it's a casino hotel so there's surveillance tape up and down the hallways in the elevator so they're going through all that well we got audio from the actual robbery in the hotel oh, well yes we have that as well uh, the possible charges robbery with use of a deadly weapon two counts of assault with a deadly weapon conspiracy to commit robbery coercion and burglar uh, burglary with a deadly weapon damn you just been pwned yeah us 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 so uh, O.J. has been arrested. He's smiling all the way. To, oh, the guy cannot smile enough when he's cuffed. Uh, O.J. in the can is the big headline here for the Daily News. He's the happiest guy ever to be arrested. O.J. in the can. Like, O.J. in the can. And then you get, I, tap, I, tap, I was just tapping my foot. But then you got Newsday going with O.J.ed. 
Oh, jailed. They used a J for jailed. Eh. Oh, jailed. So, mm -hmm. and he's just smiling. This will be my newest book. If I did it, see now I just go around committing crimes, and then I write books like I didn't really do it. It was Charlie. Remember Charlie from the murder? Charlie bust in with the gun. But if I would have, I would have taken the elevator up, had two guys with guns, walked in, and, and OJ, it was just like last Friday. Yeah, but I didn't do it. <laughs> what were you doing, Iraq? Where's the. What were you doing? I was eating. <laughs> what were you doing when I, I looked at you? Iraq, he's what? working on something else. It's so obvious. Because ah. he looked up all confused, like, what? You need me for something? Oh, I don't know. Maybe for some music for uh, the OJ bit. What were you doing? Seriously, be honest. He said he was getting more OJ material. I, so I, was OJ. I see you picking out pictures from our, our road trip to Philly. I, I've been watching you do that all morning. I'm on the pal talk. <laughs> you wrote getting more OJ material? Yeah. What are you getting? We have some stuff that we haven't done on OJ, so I was trying to get it all together. Mm. <laughs> what stuff? What stuff haven't we done on OJ? OJ's rap song that he did. Ooh. OJ did a rap? Where is it? I'm trying to get it. Why don't it. you get it? <laughs> Wait, so now you're going over there to get it, but you were looking at that screen. Yeah. There's a folder here that says OJ. There's OJ stuff in the book. I was looking between the two. Don't talk to the boss like he's an idiot. I don't like it. He knows that I know I caught him. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. I love you, honey bunny. <laughs> Any of you Move, and I'm going to execute every last one of you, mother... We'll do our own music today. Everybody be cool. This is a robbery. I am OJ. All right, how about this? We're going to regroup. <laughs> Is it really a rap song with OJ? Yeah. Well, he'll find the rap song. We'll play that OG for everybody. OJ raps. When we get back, because we are running late, we got to do a little catch-up anyway. Audio from the actual robbery in the hotel. Ooh. And uh, OJ just smiling and whistling if I only had a brain <laughs> as he's leaving the wedding out there in Vegas. Wait, they My didn't, wedding? They didn't cuff Matt the wedding, did they? No, I don't think so. No, they had only arrested him, what, yesterday? At the hotel. At one of the Sometime hotel yesterday. Hotel he was staying at. Yeah. All right. All on the way with Opie and Anthony. It's Opie and Anthony. In the middle of talking about OJ, by the way. The ONA virus spreading across America. Oh, we had a missed call yesterday. We love the, the missed calls. We got a brand new one to add to the collection. Ooh. Uh, it was the Jets game yesterday. This little play went down, and then uh, there was some confusion. He's got it, and down he goes at the five-yard line. What, what's the call here? No, now they're going to say no. He's out of bounds. <laughs> what, what, what? 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 He's got it. Uh, he's got, got, uh, I just love how they end up talking to themselves. What's the call? Well, what's, what's the call? Oh, well, well, you just made it. <laughs> well, that's why I'm listening to you. You're supposed to tell me what the call what's is. What's the call? <laughs> Who said that? He's got it, and down he goes at the five-yard line. What, what's the call here? No, now they're going to say no, he's out of bounds. <laughs> now they're going to say no, he's out of bounds. And then I'm going to say it. <laughs> they never say I'm wrong. No, it's always yeah. someone else's problem. Oops. What are they saying? Wait, they screwed it all up. Wait, what are they saying? You're the one saying it. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying? All right, so OJ's been arrested. We're waiting uh, for further info. What, what, what? It's OJ just handcuffed walking down the street on the news. That's uh, I know. Just smiling. My, my knees hurt. Jimmy just shocked the hell out of me. Uh, OJ's 60? Yes. 60 years old. The wow. guy has barely aged since 94. Well, he's been, you know, I guess when you think you're going away forever for double murder, <laughs> and then the next thing you know, you're in a Vegas hotel room, first class. <laughs> yeah, second lease on life. Yeah. yeah. And look at who Fox's expert is. Old Mark N-Word Furman. <laughs> yeah. Good old Mark. Get some TV time today, Mark huh? Mark Furman's back. Hey, you got to help get uh, Skankle put away. Mark yeah, Furman got one sure. of the candidates locked up. Wrote that, writing that book about uh, Martha Moxley. Yep. Good for him. And uh, he can't call old Puddin' Head Johnny Cochran either this time. 
Or uh, Cochran he had uh, died or of cancer. Kardashian. Kardashian has cancer, died of cancer, and, es- and uh, esophagus cancer. Esophagus cancer. His yeah. esophagus uh, did him in. And uh, and then uh, F. Lee Bailey was disbarred. Disbarred. The dream team is uh, gone. So uh, I don't know who OJ is going to get for this one, but I think uh, they haven't yet. But once they levy these uh, these charges against him, I think uh, you'll start seeing maybe the race card being played a little bit. You think? Yeah, got to. I will see. Look at the look at the. You ever see the the people that think OJ was guilty of murder and the people that didn't? Come on. Let's go over here. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're going to start divvying up again, going, come on, this is this was a plot and a ploy to get OJ. Uh, they've been trying to get him for years, and that's this, what they'll say. This is going to lead to nothing. <clears throat> I agree. Yeah, this probably whole thing will. is going to lead to nothing. Did you guys see what Fred Goldman did with uh, the book, If I Did It? What? Since he's got control of it now? He uh. made the if so freaking. He used the smallest possible... <laughs> So Fox. it just says, I did it. it. You look, it just says, I did it. I mean, it's like, the if is like this small. Uh, that's funny. It's pretty much transparent. It's like the least amount. They, I did it. it. It just, look, there it is. Look at this thing. Look what he turned if I did it into. It just says, I did it. <laughs> oh, that is good. I think the if in big is, red letters. No, but the if is is hidden in the I. You see that? That's where the if is now. Oh, that's So you got good. I did it in huge red letters. Now that Fred Goldman's, uh, it, it says by the Golden the golden uh, Goldman family. By the way, I've had enough of the outrage over this book. I'm sick and tired of people who shouldn't be pub. Hitler's books are published. There's books on Al-Qaeda. There's books on bin Laden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why shouldn't this be put out? I want to read it. I want to read a pop-up book. Why you included book. a couple of books in there? That... Well, you know, I had to because he's got a bad <laughs> rep. But, you know, it's like all of a sudden now people are saying this shouldn't be It should be out. How yeah. great is the if in the middle of the eye? That's good. You can barely see the if now. It's just OJ, I did it. And then it says with exclusive commentary, he did it by the Goldman family. <laughs> so they uh, they write a little something something. So it's a whole new thing, like with commentary. Oh yeah, because I read the uh, well, we we read it uh, on the air here. Yeah, his uh, whole take on how the murder went down, if he would have done what he said he didn't do, but everyone knows he did. And uh, we read it, and uh, Charlie was there. Yeah, Charlie was his friend of his that he hooked up with that saw the whole thing, and uh, actually was trying to calm OJ down. Uh, and OJ just went wild and don't remember. He doesn't remember what happened. D- like he he was standing there. Uh, Charlie had the knife. Charlie had the knife. And then the next thing he knew, he was standing there with the knife in his hand, all bloody, going, "What, Charlie? What happened?" And Charlie was like, "Oh, OJ. Oh." And then they drove back to the house, and Charlie, his imaginary friend Charlie. Charlie. Well. Oh, I got to read it with the Goldman uh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure definitely, they have a lot of lofts in there. I'm definitely picking this up. Like now. Mystery Science Theater, I'm sure. <laughs> Just as many laughs. I know I'm being insensitive because I like Fred Goldman. <laughs> yeah. And I don't comprehend the agony of having your son murder. I get all that. Of course. And having the guy just walking around like being that. Being arrogant. Yeah, I'm just getting tired of them. I, know I shouldn't be. Oh, you're getting tired of the Goldmans? A little bit. Of all you're of allowed. A little it's bit. Been, it's been years. And I know it's not my loved one. I just, as far as I was concerned, Ron, my opinion <laughs> was that he was banging Nicole. I think he was banging her and he was there and whatever. I'm not Might have been. Which, you know. Might have been. I'm glad he hasn't ever. let up. God bless Fred Goldman for I, not I know, letting I, up. I agree. But and I he probably knows that the him. country's kind of getting tired of him, but he doesn't give a crap. He he wants OJ dead. <laughs> we were discussing that over the weekend again. I, I'm just waiting for the day that Fred Goldman gets his the big C or something. A diagnosis of a terminal disease. And then he will attempt to kill OJ. That will be OJ's terminal disease, too. because <laughs> When he realizes that his life is not worth living anymore, I, I have a strong feeling he's going to go after OJ. Yeah. I, I really like do. Or if he just shot him. So like, just get it over he, with. He might. You know, you don't know. Like, you never but know. he probably thinks he's got you know his family to live for and everything now. And then uh, maybe if he he gets a, a terminal disease, he'll decide. Bah, let me just end this whole saga. OJ's pretty accessible. Yeah, to a Fred Goldman. Well, here's some o, uh, OJ uh, audio. I think he's leaving a wedding, and there's reporters outside, and he. Yeah. Decided to kind of whistle uh, if I had a brain. <laughs> if I only had a brain. This guy is 
Awesome. Still, all smiles. Hey, can you tell us what happened? Yeah. Okay, well, you tell us what happened. So I guess if only had a brain. You got married. Okay, you got married. Congratulations. <laughs> was the idiot reporter. <sighs> So this was. Goes, after- are you, is, is he whistling? If I only had a brain, someone's amazed in that clip. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> when was this clip? After the robbery? Uh, Had to be after the robbery. They're talking oh, yeah, yeah. Info and and so the wedding was after the robbery. Yeah, yeah. He went to the uh, wedding. Okay, so he flew into Vegas for the wedding and then decided he needed to do a little armed robbery while he was out there. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, I got I you. do believe. So the armed robbery happened on a Friday, whatever, and the wedding was on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. And then the, the reporters are now following him, and he decides he needs to do this. Still, all smiles. Hey, can you tell us what happened? Yeah. Okay, well, you tell us what happened. I so listening if only had a brain. You got married. Okay, you got married. Congratulations. <laughs> That guy is shocked. He's whistling if I only had a brain. Is he this stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you they used OJ's face to gain entry. That's probably what the, his part in the robbery was. They probably just used his face because the guy would look through the peephole and see it was him mm-hmm. and open the door. And then the guys came in and whatever. It's probably memorabilia that was his or... Yeah, but you can't get it back you, with Yeah, guns. you're not allowed to do that, right. even if it was his. But they're saying it, it, it wasn't his. It's just out on the market. He considers it his. There's some things that are yours, and then they're not yours anymore. But you sell them, you, you lose them. But when I heard this, I thought he was getting his Heisman trophies back, uh, trophies, uh, Heisman trophy yeah. back, or or some other stuff. It was like autographed baseballs. It was some. It's like an autographed Joe Theismann lithograph. <laughs> was it Joe Theismann or Montana? Oh, Montana. Whatever. Exactly. So Joe you barely... Theismann's shin bone. <laughs> <laughs> like the memorabilia he went after is like, who gives a crap? It wasn't anything. OG. That... That's who gave a crap. Wasn't that crazy? Here's the loot. Uh, NFL Hall of Fame plaque. Worth about three to five thousand dollars. Signed photo of OJ with J. Edgar Hoover. Righteous bucks. Wow. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover. Baseball signed by Pete Big Rose. Queen. <laughs> Baseball signed by Pete Rose and Duke Schneider. Uh, the Pete Rose ball was worth three hundred. The Duke Schneider was worth seventy five. This is mm. like who gives a crap stuff. Uh, Joe Montana. Hall of Fame lithograph five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Footballs uh, signed by Simpson. Uh, Two hundred to five hundred. Couldn't he just <laughs> make couldn't he just more of those? buy some footballs <laughs> and sign them? <laughs> what the hell is that about? And autograph photographs, uh, photographs of Simpson. He could make, more, make of more of those. Those were two hundred to seven hundred dollars each. So what's the big deal? I mean, if you had these this- are signed by OJ, I need them. They. Oh wait a minute, I am OJ. <laughs> five six. I did quick math here. The loot was worth about seven thousand dollars. Hey, and now he's give locked or, up. Give or take a few hundred on either side. For seven seven grand. Seven grand worth of crap, and half that stuff he could have redid. Not half. Good but. job. Uh, here's audio of the actual uh, robbery going down. Kind of hard to hear, but you get you get to hear some key things in this. Wait, we gotta slow us down. How is that recorded? First I you of all, were joking. I thought it was gonna be some. No, yeah. this is real. This isn't an O and A bit. This is the deal, man. How is that recorded? I, I can't say. <laughs> oh, you got it. Can't say. That is that is OJ. That is OJ yelling. going. Don't let anyone leave. Yeah. And he goes. You think you could steal my s? That's OJ. That's the angry, murdering OJ right there. That's not the smiling at the golf course. No, no, no. Or no. whistling it if whistling. I only had a brain. That's the OJ that people never really got to hear or see without having their throat cut to their spine. Oh, there's that an angry OJ. Can we hear that again? Sure. I'll let nobody out this one. I want you to hang that f***ing mother f***ing. You can steal my f***ing cell. Don't let nobody out here. Wow. You mother f***ing. Wow. 
That is the angry OJ. There he is. Angry with guns over $7,000 worth of crap. It's basically crap. Wow. That's nice. Where did that come from, though, really? I can't say. Uh, TMZ or whatever it is. I wonder if the guy... Re- I laugh at TMZ. Yeah? I don't think I what do you think it. of them apples? All right, then it was another website. No. <laughs> uh, the news? No. Um, OJ taped it and sent it out? To me personally. Oh, nice. <laughs> <This is> exclusive. <laughs> Want to hear it again? Of course. This is from a movie. What? No, this is, I swear to God, this is real. This is the oh. audio. It, it sounds like it's in a hallway because I hear something like, don't let any, anyone leave this hallway. You think you could, you know, steal my crap? Mm. Try to listen to yeah, other from things. A movie. That <laughs> would be funny. <laughs> Try to listen for other things in this. Wow. How is that taped? Huh? How was it taped? Unless uh, <clears throat> the guy just taped OJ when he came in. How do you have something like, to, just in case OJ comes in, I'm going to tape this. Maybe but, he deals with these guys a lot and always tapes it. Maybe it's a policy. I don't know. I'm guessing. Let's get an answer from Than. Than, what do you got on this? Uh, just one of the guys from the auction had a voice recorder and I guess turned it on. Wow. Good uh, thinking. Was more than one of them? Yeah, I guess. And then Good the one thinking. guy's going in was Mike. And how many guns and how many guys? Supposedly two guns, four guys, and OJ. Wait, two guns, four guns. Well, yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see how to rob on Long Island. Rob, what's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah, do you think if OJ made any money off of this stuff, it would have gone right to Ron Goldman? Yeah, Fred. <laughs> Ron <Okay>. Goldman, Fred. <laughs> there you go. Let's go to Eric in Princeton. Eric, what's up? Yo. Hey. Hello. Yes. Hey, Eric. Yeah, I was wondering if OJ gave the memorabilia as a wedding gift. <laughs> Here's a couple of Honus Wagner cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Happy wedding. <laughs> a lot of people suggesting this is uh, part of his You Got Juiced. You Got Juiced. <laughs> you got My juiced. new show. You Got Juiced. <laughs> no, I'm just can see over there as a hidden camera. <laughs> Well, it's not there. You mother f. Wow, he's hot under the. Oh, he's mad. That's the angry OJ. I like him. That's not smiling, nice, fun OJ. That's not OJ trying the glove on and making wacky faces. Look, it don't fit. Oof. And you hear it in his voice. It could go. It could go right to a gunshot. Uh, you know. Yep. A firearm. Or at off. least it, like grabbing him by the neck and working him over. Sure. Pulling out a knife really and gutting him. He's right in his face. Man. All right, well. Guilty. Well, buckle up. What do you think they'll do, though? They buckle can't... up. It's going to be an interesting ride with you, the OJ thing. You know they want to throw him in jail for, like, life. But these stupid charges aren't going to be. They'll be they'll be knocked down to some kind of simple whatever. That, I don't even know what they can knock it down to. I'm distracted because who is the, the woman with the buxom bosom on well, TV? Well, she's large cans. Like, wow, I know cleavage is in, but... She's talking to Jill Nicolini. Look at this. It's just falling out. Who is it? I don't know. E-Rock, do you know who that is? Some girl from a show called Feast of Love. Well, there's a a (laughs) feast ready to happen. All right. (laughs) Feast of Love's about. I'd like to grab Mingo. All right, well, there you go. So that's that's the latest on the OJ, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, details are coming in by the hour, though. Believe me. They love this story. Mm-hmm. He only recorded that much? That- uh, maybe the other stuff was boring. <laughs> I, hey, I, get me some coffee. I wonder that this stuff This is something that go me. It's like, why would you stop recording at that point? Or why would you only send that much? Yeah. So. Uh, OJ. Uh, OJ. Jimmy, you haven't done a ringtone yet today. I'll have to think of one. Oh, well, that's a good one. I'll think of one. Does does is there a sign out front, OJ, that says, 
OJ, a murder memorabilia storage. <laughs> Is there a sign up front that says murder memorabilia storage? <laughs> 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 you find the OJ rap? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's hear the OJ rap. Why do people wonder about my intentions? Why do people ask me so many questions about how I made it to the top? About all the times I made those deep demons of stuff. Yo, go just don't stop in the juice. When I'm on the pill, I'm like a lion going loose. Better shoot me with a tranquilizer well, dart. Don't be stupid. I'm not a Simpson named Bart. I'm not a cartoon. You silly baboon. I'm like a tycoon. It's a state of monsoon. Can't you see the only way I live my life is large? And I got the most games for 200 plus yards. <laughs> He cut Ron Goldman's throat because he wrote the lyrics to that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the only justification. Oof. Let's go. Oh, to, that's bad. Let's go to Rich in Pittsburgh. Rich, what's up? Hey, uh, how you guys doing? All right, man. What's up? Hey, we love your show out here, man. Uh, we need more people to get wild on us though on Wednesdays. Well, how about uh, this? We need more people to listen in Pittsburgh. Yep. Yeah. And then we can get that wild thing going. But thank you for that. Uh, what do you got, yeah. Rich? Uh, I heard on the news this morning they said he could get three to thirty-five years for every charge for that uh, armed robbery or whatever. I don't know if you guys heard anything about that or if they'll try to get him. Yeah, yeah. I, I always hate when they say stuff like that. I, I, I don't pay attention to that because it's never 35 years. No. And I, I don't even think it'll be three years. It'll probably be some dumb probation thing in the end. Yeah, they'll just whittle it down to nothing. I don't know, but if it's an armed robbery, that's right. mandatory. But he didn't have a gun on him. It doesn't so, matter. He inclusion. If, you know, he's, yeah. He's in there. It's uh, him. He's participating in an armed robbery. Yeah. Especially if he's uh, doing all the yapping like that. Wow. Yeah. Give uh, me my stuff. Have you ever read Ezekiel twenty five seventeen? <laughs> the path of the righteous man is bisect on all sides. I love you, honey bun. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the murdering OJ is fantastic. <laughs> Mind if I have some of your tasty burger? <laughs> Is that a big kahuna burger? Mm. Guy's just sitting there. <laughs> uh, where's my sports memorabilia? Do I look like a bitch? Oh, finally. <laughs> Jeez. I want my effing sports memorabilia. Now, where is it? Mind if I wash this down with some of your tasty beverage? <laughs> Where's the audio? Play the audio of OJ with the song. <laughs> One moment, please. One moment, please. Isn't that great. Someone uh, just conjures up an image now. By the way, this audio is from TMZ. And uh, TMZ now does a TV show, so what they're doing is they gave you a little on the website, and now they're saying more on their TV show tonight. Smart. Very smart. Oh, man, nobody out this one. I want you to hang that mother. And you can steal my show. Don't let nobody out here. Wow. 
<laughs> All right, we'll take a break here. So Mike took it, and OJ knew Mike took it, so they know who's Mike. Hey, Mike. They're all in cahoots together. What do you say, Bill? Paint each other up. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you don't come to Las Vegas and steal memorabilia from a murderer like OJ like that. Like that. How about that? Let's say hi to Paul and Yonkers. Paul, what's up? Hey there, Paul. Yeah, I see if you guys think that O.J. did it because he wants to get caught. You know, like when people do the stuff that, you know, years ago that they killed before, that he, you know, he wants no. to go to jail. Nah, he's just no, insane. No way. O.J. is just kooky. He's kooky, wacky O.J. Armed robbery over stuff that's worth uh, $7,000. And some of that stuff he could have got back by just re-signing, you know, footballs and pictures. He's probably just really, really annoyed at having to, like, he's got his pension, which the Goldmans can't touch. And then every other penny he makes has to go to Ron Goldman, uh, Ron Goldman's family. So that's got to really, even though he killed him, believe me, I don't, I'm not saying this is justified. He must feel like awful that every penny he makes has to go to them. What does he make, like 300000 a year on his pension? Yeah, yeah something, something like, like that. that. So he's making, you know, a tidy sum. Uh, but OJ could be making millions. Millions upon millions of dollars. But he chooses not to because he doesn't want to give the Goldmans any money. All right. So he d does armed robberies, uh, allegedly, and hopes to make 7000 here, 8000 there. I'm a bank robber. <laughs> That's what I do now. I'm OJ. Let's say hi to Chris in Houston. Chris, what's up? What's going on, boys? Hey. Um, I'm just wondering if we should uh, call this Pulp Simpson. Pulp Simpson. There Pulp you go. Simpson. There you go. Well, here's the uh, call that uh, came into 911. Okay. I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller. Prank caller. <laughs> See, they didn't believe it was OJ. Who would believe OJ is robbing a casino? When I first heard that, too, I just thought, well, you know, Ocean's the 14 or sure. whatever it is. But this <laughs> is OJ. But, Anthony, this clip gave him away right here. I am the werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why would you do that with all those cameras around? It's just stupid. He's, yeah. He's not smart. I don't think he's smart. He's not good at, like, getting rid of evidence. Like, he did get off, but he did kind of leave a mess behind in 94. Right. <laughs> and then here, we just, like, the guy's taping him. There's cameras all over. I was just in a room. I don't know what happened. Mr. Blonde went nuts. He was standing there. <laughs> bang. Bang. <laughs> bang. I mean, how old was that black girl? 20? <laughs> <laughs> See what movie you saw over the weekend? Ah, uh, a little uh, Tarantino fest. Yeah, sure. On the drive down. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Stupid OJ. All right, phone number eight seven seven two one two O and A. It's Opie and Anthony. It's Monday. Yeah. Opie and Anthony here. What else is going on in America? Or what are we talking about in America? Sort of talking about the plane crash in Thailand. But it's oh, kind of far away, so, well, we're, so we're not really that concerned. Oops. Killed 90, though, right? Plane split in half. It's a bad thing for a plane to do when it lands. Yes. Yeah, a lot of... Uh... Gee, I wonder how many laptops are being confiscated out of the records. <laughs> go through that. Why are you in Thailand? <laughs> Why do you go there? How's Oedipus? Was he on the flight? <laughs> what about John and Jeff? Are they all John right? John and Jeff. <laughs> Is the porno uh, stash going to dry up for the next few months now? <laughs> Not going to be able to get some porn? Oh, there are some kids in Thailand going, Whew, right about now. <laughs> <laughs> well, 90, uh, yeah, 90 people died, but maybe... Uh, I think hundreds of kids have been saved. Yes. <laughs> Thailand, who goes there? 
Also, the tourists are flocking to the airport bathroom where Larry Craig was arrested. Yeah, it's a tourist attraction now. How great is that? How many guys are getting that picture taken with the door open, like tapping? Like, tapping yeah, your foot. Look at me. Look what I do now. Hey, I'm tapping my foot. Get some video it is. A <laughs> uh, disabled man killed by massive bee attack. I read this last night. Th- this just sounds like something out of a horror movie. This g- guy, I guess, and his brother... Uh, open up this garage door, and thousands of bees come flying out. Now, were they inside going out or outside going in? I read that, too. I, I, I believe they were outside going into this garage. So the bees were nesting in the garage. Yeah, so they oh, open yeah. up the garage door, and thousands of bees come out. So the one uh, guy goes running to a neighbor's house to get help. The other guy is uses a walker, so he can't move very quickly. So they get the cops and the fire department to come down, and when they arrived, they said the man was covered from head to toe in bees, just hanging on to his walker and getting stung over a thousand times, Ugh. which uh, subsequently led to his demise. And they, they chased the rescue workers? They were yeah, yeah, they, they chased the rescue workers. They got, you know, the other guys in the ambulance. They, they, well, they got the guy that uh, got stung a thousand times. They put him in the ambulance uh, after they got the bees off of him. And the bees were, like, chasing the rescue workers. These bees just went crazy. One of the firefighters, he arrived on the scene to find a thick... Dark cloud of bees attacking of the man. Bees, Oof, those bees are nasty. I wonder if they were killer bees because most bees won't attack you like that. You know the killer bees are coming, Jimmy. Yeah, they're in New Orleans. Yeah, ever since uh, nineteen eighty. I always had, 75, I don't know. I always had a problem with the killer bees are coming because I thought to myself, even as a little kid, I'm like, well, well, they got to be somewhere killing people already. So yeah, wouldn't we hear about it? So why don't we get the news reports on what the killer bees are doing at this very moment? It was some awful South American country, so we didn't hear the news. Well, they say they fly off a barge sometimes. Like that—that that was one way that certain times that bees may get somewhere is if they're traveling on a ship. Like if there's a nest of them on a ship somehow, mm-hmm. and then they get close to land somewhere. That's probably how they could do it without. Uh, Te- like, you know, the temperature here would kill them. You keep, the yeah. not going to survive up here for long. It's because, too cold. Yeah, too seasonal. But they, uh, they go dormant when it gets cold. Yeah, they could slow down their bodies. They're like the blob. I, 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 I would, if I was standing there and get a swarm of bees came after me, I, I would drop dead right there on the spot. Well, look I for hate water. bees. Look for a pool to jump in. The guy's got a walker. Where the hell's he going? I don't Poor know. bastard. <laughs> oh. Gets me the heebie jeebies. So, we're, yeah. we're talking about that today. Also, uh, Britney Spears, my loser kids, whatever, because of drugs. Well, she wants to flip whatever. around the uh, orphan. K- KFED has 30% co- uh, of custody. She has 70%, and, and she wants to reverse that. He wants to reverse that. Really? Yeah. How does she feel? She's offering a millions to drop the suit. Oh, okay. And finally, uh, Barry Bonds, the record-breaking ball. Yep. Instead of go for about a half mil, went for $752,000. Who the hell bought it? Anonymous? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Mm. But there you go. Can I tell you, too, I was watching, you know how we, I talked about those uh, those giant uh, hornets in Japan, those the biggest... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, turned me on to nasty. those videos. They're horrible, horrible animals. But they're giant hornets, and they will kill you. A few of them can kill you. Oh, yeah. And uh, they attack beehives, and they'll, like a bunch of them will kill 30,000 honeybees. But there's a video of a guy actually petting one, because they don't really attack far from the nest. So the guy, this guy actually has one as a pet. What? A pet? Yeah, he has a pet... Uh, a pet, uh, a giant uh, hornet, and, and and like they said, it's away from the nest, so it doesn't attack. They don't attack when they're not in it within vicinity. You know, of the nest. I don't care. It's got a stinger on it. That's it. But the, the bee crawls out. It's on his hand and it's nibbling honey off his hand. Ooh. Uh, go to large hornet on oh. hand. Yeah, look, that's a it, that's a. Uh, this guy's insane. He's tapping at it. Look at the size of that guy. Oh, the, the God. thing is coming out of its little uh, hornet cage. He's got it in a little. He's got a. It's right by. Oh, uh, look! His little claws are grabbing onto the finger. He's oh, that's pulling him out adorable. of the cage. Now the thing is on his finger. Look at the size of that bee. That is giant. That guy's insane. Notice he's moving a little slow, though. Oh, you don't want to alarm it. Well, you sure don't. And now he's... Look at the size of that. It's almost as big as his thumb. And... As big as his thumb. Yeah, it's as long as his thumb is. And and it's like, it's nibbling. Nibbling on honey that he put on his thumb? Do you uh, know how fast I'd have to knock that d- off? That, uh, that wouldn't even get close to me. I'd be swinging at it. There you go. I, right. I'd, I'd rather have a conventional pet. 
I uh, I have a cat, you know. You do? That Steve from Bayshore gave me. Really? His name is Jack Jack. Off, off. Steve from Bayshore. Okay, terrific. I have to put that hornet on your cat's nose. No. And watch it panic. <laughs> little Jack Jack's little tender nose. It's pink. Oh, that, that, and it's wet. Yeah, it would be f- fat and nicely stung. Because that hornet <laughs> would continue stinging it. Because they, they don't They die. don't stop. No, sting away, pal. Uh, Mark Echo bought the baseball. Oh? Yeah. Who's Mark Echo? Echo. Are we supposed to know who Mark Echo is? Uh, the guy hung up. Mark Echo. Hello, you, sir. I think I, yeah, we lost him. All right. Uh, and this went down uh, a couple days ago on Larry King. We can't get enough of Larry King, especially when he just makes mistakes. Because he's a doddering old fool now. Yeah. And uh, he, it's very hard for him to, to conduct interviews when he can't even remember who he's talking to. Well, he had an exclusive interview with uh, Denise Simpson. Yes. Denise Simpson, Nicole's sister. Uh, but if it's Nicole's sister, why is it Denise Simpson? Hey, what is that? That's a so, good question. So someone around here is messing up. Hey, what happened? Denise Brown. It's, it's Denise Brown. It's Denise Brown, yeah. Larry King accidentally calls Denise Simpson Nicole Simpson. Someone screwed up here. It would be Denise, Denise Brown. Denise Brown. Larry King accidentally calls Denise Brown hmm. the sister of Nicole Simpson. Yeah. Well, Larry called her Nicole Simpson. That's great. Here it is. This, this confession about how he killed Ron and Nicole, and he worked hard thinking that he was going to make millions off of it. Mm-hmm. And we snatched it right out from under him. Are you getting any money, Nicole, from this at all? <laughs> Denise, no. <laughs> Denise, no. She goes real fast. Denise, no. Oh, for the love of God. Are you getting any money from this, Nicole? You money-hungry whore. <laughs> Nicole. Just put Anderson Cooper in there already. What are you waiting for, man? We're taking a phone call now. Ron Goldman, you're on the phone (laughs) with Nicole Simpson. Hello? Tune in tomorrow night as we have Jean Benet Ramsey (laughs) all grown up and still wearing her little cowboy hat. Larry's been in broadcasting 50 years. He got to the big uh, celebration. It's time to just re- retire, Larry. Nicole, how important was the knife to your virtual decapitation? Was it important? <laughs> this, this confession about how he killed Ron and Nicole, and he worked hard thinking that he was going to make millions off of it. Mm-hmm. And we snatched it right out from under him. Are you getting any money, Nicole, from this at all? Denise, no, I'm not getting a dime. I'm sorry, Denise. Who's Denise? That's okay. I booked Nicole. Get my producer. Nicole, are you still dead? What? I've always questioned her motives. Who? Denise. Like why, that why, do you need, why do you need the money in the afterlife? Nicole, comment, question, answer. Nicole. How am I talking to you without a Ouija board? A Ouija board. <laughs> uh, Mike from uh, Raleigh. Raleigh, whatever. Raleigh. Oh, and hey, hey, a-holes. I can't see the stupid oh. hornet through the radio. Don't wait for your Marconi Award anytime soon. We're describing it, sir. We're describing it. That's also, why we said the size of a thumb, you idiot. And I think it, it has some value to a radio show when you're talking about a video that we gave you the search for... Also, yeah, let me address Mr. Jackass here. Uh, it is 2007, idiot. As far as getting a Marconi Award for radio, uh, I think a show that uses uh, all the technology that's out there. Uh, we use video conferencing here. We use the website. You ever hear of a website? The World Wide Web? It, w- it was called the Information Superhighway, you out of touch douche. Do you understand that all of these things are now wrapped up into radio shows? Go listen to a show that just goes on and babbles and has no interaction between their fans whatsoever. When we talk about something on this newfangled thing called the Internet, we assume that people listening to the show have access to a computer and can punch it up maybe later on or at work or something. If you're that out of touch, ass, just leave the show. This isn't for you. 
We're, we're doing stuff here that involves maybe some uh, complicated um, infernal machines that you don't have access to, like that newfangled computer. Maybe we're stupid to assume that our listeners have an imagination. So when you describe the hornet on someone's thumb uh, licking little, little little honey off the thumb, they could... Fu- I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Mm, you kind of got close enough. Did I? I think so. Once you hit, once you pass you, it's over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much the rule. <laughs> Basically, we paint the pictures. You're visualizing at home, and everyone's okay. And then if they found that interesting, then they use their computer and they go look at the freaking right. video themselves. You dope. The, the Marconi Award. Yeah, Marconi, exactly. Because that's why we're broadcasting. We're hope. Oh boy, I I hope we get a Marconi Award someday. Just, you don't get the show. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. Listen to whatever show you want that you can just sit there and they can talk about things and, and not mention anything that uh, you can see on the Internet or television or, or, or whatever. And why would we want the Marconi Award when we have the prestigious Air Award? Exactly. Mine got thrown in a fireplace. I don't have it anymore. And I don't know where mine is. <laughs> it's in a box Good. somewhere. And then we made we uh, we won the Air Personality of the Year award from Radio and Records. <laughs> and it was a big record <laughs> yes, that you could was. display in your in your house. I don't know where that is either. We don't give a crap about awards, you dope. Oh. All right, here's the listen to the rest Dummy. of the clip. I love how Denise goes, oh, that's okay, Larry, with, with a quick little laugh. Uh-huh. This, this confession about how he killed Ron and Nicole, and he worked hard thinking that he was going to make millions off of it. Mm-hmm. And we snatched it right out from under him. Are you getting any money, Nicole, from this at all? Denise, no, I'm not getting a dime. I'm sorry, Denise, forgive no. me. <laughs> that's okay. I am not getting a dime. <sighs> I'm My sorry, to die. not getting a dime. This is the estate of he, Nicole. Dude, he said, he, he went to say, I'm sorry, Nicole. <laughs> Listen, he says... He doesn't say Denise. He he goes Nicole. Really? He can't get it out of. Her. Yeah. Really? Oh, from this at all? Denise, no, I'm not getting a dime. I'm sorry, Denise. Uh, forgive no. me. <laughs> That's okay. Did, uh, did, uh, okay, it was did uh, <laughs> did, uh, <laughs> did uh, the aristocrats. Did, uh, I just called you your dead sister's name. <laughs> Wow, I I hope CNN you know hangs on to him for a few more years because it's getting fun now. It's really getting pathetic. I, I find myself uh, taking a peek at Larry King uh, almost on a nightly basis because I'm 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 waiting for these moments of him just screwing up. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, da da. <laughs> I'm sorry, ta da, ta da. I gotta hear that again now. How are you still alive? Mace, no, I'm not getting a dime. I'm sorry, Dada. Forgive no. me. <laughs> okay. Ta-da. What does he say? I'm sorry, I'm sorry Dada. Dada. But did me. What does he say? Did me? Forgive me. Oh, but it, that's. Funny. I killed her. But I think instead of saying forgive, he says to did me. To did me for Dada. Dada. No, I'm not getting a dime. I'm sorry, Dada. Forgive no. me. <laughs> that's okay. Dada, forgive me. Dada, forgive me. <laughs> Dada. <laughs> Uh, what a de-douche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Larry messing up again. Uh, and then uh, we were talking about the Emmys earlier. And, JFK uh, in next week. Yeah? Yes. Senior and junior. <laughs> <laughs> Is it harder to find hats that come in seven parts? <laughs> <laughs> um, Sally Field had a moment on the Emmys.